Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about Fragile X Syndrome. So Fragile X Syndrome is a hereditary disorder which follows an X-linked dominant inheritance pattern. As we can see, there is an increase in the length of a chromosome with a Fragile X Syndrome. So here's the normal chromosome and here's a chromosome with Fragile X Syndrome. So as we can see here, the chromosome has a narrow appendage that looks as though it is about to break. That's the site of fragility. That's why it's called the Fragile X Syndrome. It is caused by an increase in the length of the FMR1 gene on the X chromosome. The length of the FMR1 gene is divided into four categories. We've got normal, where it's just short, the normal size. Uh, we've got also the gray zone, when, when the size is intermediate or the length is intermediate. There are also pre-mutation carriers, where the length is medium, and where the length is long, that's when we call them the affected uh, people with Fragile X syndrome. So Fragile X syndrome presents as a classic physical phenotype with the following features. First one being large prominent ears, as we can see in the photo of this boy, with a long narrow face as well, and macro-orchidism, large testes, and finally intellectual disability, where in fact Fragile X syndrome is the most common inherited cause of developmental disability and should always be considered when, when we have a child with developmental disability. And uh, it's the second overall cause of intellectual disability after Down syndrome. So the diagnostic triad of Fragile X Syndrome is characteristic faces with intellectual disability and large testes. Fragile X Syndrome is associated with many disorders, which are the intellectual disability, autism or autistic-like behavior, Attention deficit in 10% of cases can be present with or without hyperactivity. Seizures in 20% of cases. Connective tissue abnormalities. Learning disability. Speech delay. Coordination difficulty. Primary ovarian insufficiency, FXPOI for short, and late onset tremor or ataxia syndrome. So, if we suspect Fragile X syndrome, we can order a chromosome microarray, CMA for short which is now considered a first-line genetic test for the investigation of developmental disability or congenital abnormalities. And CMA does not detect gene variants causing Fragile X syndrome, so an additional deoxyribonucleic acid DNA test for Fragile X syndrome must be ordered. And now for the management of Fragile X syndrome, we should do a careful genetic appraisal and counselling, we should assess the child's capabilities and uh, do a multidisciplinary assessment and a referral for integration of speech and language therapy, special education, behavior management. And finally, there's the pharmacological treatment of any epilepsy or attention deficit or any behavioral disorder. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. 
Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.